YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. And for those of you who are new, um, my name is Maureen and my channel is Life's Many Journeys. Um, here I talk about the many, many different journeys of life that I personally am going through and in the hopes of just sharing it and seeing if um, I can help somebody with information or perspective on, you know, the various things that I've gone through. Um, so uh, this video that you clicked on is a video um, of my knee replacement surgery journey. Um, and this is the final video in that, um, in this series until I start my um, uh, until I start the series new for my other knee replacement. So I'm just ending the series off by um, just reviewing for you the various different stages of my incision. Um, so showing you pictures from the day after surgery right up until 18 months after, um, which is today. Um, or recently. <laughs> Probably a little bit past 18 months now, but uh, probably just like a few couple weeks past. Um, so I will be showing pictures and it's going to be a voiceover and explanation of each stage. So uh, just to give you, and I've also thrown in some pictures of my x-rays, my knee x-rays uh, before and after surgery. So those are a little cool to see. Um, you get to see what the um, knee prosthetic looks like in the knee. Um, so if you're interested in this, stay tuned. And I just want to, before we get into that, I just want to thank you for um, watching, for the encouraging words that I have received um, from some. And that's, you know what, that's really what it's all about. It's um, an outlet for me to uh, share my experience. Um, in the hopes that it'll help someone else or at least give someone else some perspective. Because I gotta tell you, uh, as I was approaching this process, I got a lot of, um, you know, a lot of comments from people, don't do it, oh, I know this person, they can't walk anymore because they did it. Just, just horrible things, like time and time and time again. So I wanted to document this and um, uh, in the hopes that for somebody, it'll prove provide another perspective, not just what you may be hearing from people, but just another perspective. Um, some of the videos that I've done through the process were as I was doing it and others were after the fact, but nevertheless, it was a true representation of my experience. I'm hoping when I'm doing the next knee that I'll do it in a different way. I'm hoping that it'll be live and you'll, you know, you'll see everything um, live as I go. So that's it. I just wanted to thank you for sticking with me. Um, and if you're interested in any of my other, uh, journeys, just click on any one of my other videos. Um, I talk about my gray hair journey. Um, there'll be some other health journeys as well that I will be, um, discussing. And, um, Let's just travel this road together. You know, it's um, not an easy road, that's for sure. Uh, there's a lot of hiccups, a lot of hills and valleys um, that we have to cross and things we've got to go through. So, you know what? Let's help each other out. What I've gone through, you may be able to gain something from it. What you go through, I can probably gain from it because I've gotten a lot of perspective from reading some of the comments as well, you know, on my various different videos. Um, so that's it. Thank you for joining and we're just going to get right into it. Hi everyone. So this first um, picture is showing uh, the day after surgery so the nurse came in to um, change my bandages and um, and redress my leg and this is what we're seeing here um, this when I first saw my knee at this point after surgery it was a little scary for me I just 
didn't know what to expect but um yeah i was concerned about the scar that would have been left but you know you you just reside yourself to know that something you needed to do you have to do it and you're happy for it um this here we're seeing here uh this is five days after surgery and i'm just showing this to um show you this is actually when the bruises started setting in um at this point i still couldn't take a shower because you're not allowed to get your bandages wet um so i was just taking um just uh wet cloth baths uh, to stay clean <laughs> as much as you can um but um, the bruising here was, uh, I guess, what surprised me. Here's another angle of that same day. Um, and the bruising really went from, you know, right from the top of my leg, from my hip, all the way down to my ankle. Uh, I guess you can't be surprised considering what your leg actually goes through during, during these surgeries. It's, um, it's really... Um, it's really quite hectic so um yeah so that's that's how that looked warning 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 <laughs> i'm just gonna warn you uh, the next couple of pictures that i'm gonna show um are very graphic and they're very close up to the incision um so if you got a weak stomach um just um, be prepared for the next um, the next three picks. Maybe you want to skip forward um, a minute uh, or a minute and a half to avoid them. Okay, so um, uh, these picks are from seven days after surgery. Um, I was just doing a regular bandage change. And I got a little concerned about the appearance of the incision because if you can see, there is some yellow um discharge that you can see there um coming out of the incision and uh, that one of the things they told you to look for look for um after uh, surgery is for any sort of yellow discharge so um i was also feeling a lot of pulling it at some points it was like as if the incision was being ripped apart it was pulling the skin was so tight here is a little bit even closer so you can see what like what my concern was it almost looks <laughs> a little unhealthy so on this day i was actually on my way out to my first um, physio appointment at the hospital so i just decided you know what i'm gonna go ahead and go to the er and get myself checked and um, let them tell me that everything's okay. Um, based on what they told me, normal inflammation, um, that yellowish is just what the incision excretes when it's doing its normal healing process. So there was nothing to worry about. So they just dressed me up again and um, sent me on my way. But yeah, maybe I was overreacting, but I don't, I don't think so. <laughs> So this is um, two weeks post-surgery. I uh, had my staples removed on this day. And uh, as you can see, I was extremely swollen. Um, they wiped it um, and uh, cleaned it. And um, I w was feeling the uh, numbness, which I was feeling from the beginning, really. But when the um, staples came out, I was feeling it just a little bit more um three days later um you, as you can see the swellings come down um and the instructions for these uh temporary bandages were the yeah, i could go ahead shower as normal and just let them fall off this is now three weeks post-surgery all bandages the temporary bandages had fallen off and the incision is dry and tender and as I was telling you, um, that I was feeling um, numbness and um, and loss of sensation just under the knee. Um, that was even three weeks after that was still um, continuing. So this is just a couple days later from um, from that, and um, here, you know, I was just trying to keep. Um, the incision um, 
uh, lubricated and moist um, to help with that dryness. Eight weeks after surgery, we're seeing here, um, uh, I experienced so much itching on and around um, the incision. I used uh, vitamin E oil from the time I had the um, staples out and coconut butter oil to help with that dryness. Um, still feeling the loss of sensation and the numbness under the knee as well. Um, here are um, my x-ray pics. I thought it would be cool to add these in. Uh, these pics are showing um, just before, the, the uh, x-rays before I had my surgery done of both knees. And, um, not what normal knees should look like but um here is what we're seeing after um the knee replacement um it's uh, I, again eight week my eight week follow-up appointment with the surgeon so you can see the prosthetic in the knee um that is of course my right knee and i'm in the standing position there but pretty cool um to see this and just to you know to see what you have in there. This is um, another x-ray pic, um, just showing the operated knee um, in a bent position. So you can see the prosthetic again, how it looks when it's bent. Um, so just showing you a different angle there. Very cool. <laughs> so here we are, 10 weeks post-surgery. Um, incision is healing nicely. Um, there's, uh, the dryness has subsided, um, but still feeling that, um, still feeling that, uh, loss of sensation and, um, but the, based on what the doctor told me, he said that over time that will get better, but it is going to take some time for those nerves and everything to heal. And here I am five months post-surgery getting out and enjoying my new ability to walk without agony and pain. Um, and I tried my best just to do what I could do, enjoyed my summer, showing off my battle scars as I call them, feeling grateful and just feeling blessed, um, uh, knowing that just the summer before I couldn't do any of this, you know. <laughs> And, you know, even though we were in COVID times, you know, I just tried to find joy and even in the uncertainty of the times and, you know, just being just grateful, just feeling grateful because um, I got myself in there just before the hospitals went on high alert for COVID and got my operation done. Yeah, so my walks by the lake, even with most things locked down due to COVID, you know, I enjoyed it. I took long walks by the lake um, and I am ready to get that other knee done. But um, again, the feeling grateful, just feeling so grateful for um, for where I am today compared to where I was. And here we are, 18 months post-surgery. This is today. Numbness under the knee is still there, but improved a lot. Um, and unfortunately, surgery for my other knee will be delayed due to the surgery backlog from COVID overflowing the hospitals. But I am so, so thankful that at least the worst of the two was done. And that alone improved the quality of my life enormously. Because I got to tell you, walking was definitely a challenge. Thank you so much for going through with me. Um, and I look forward to, I look forward to um, continuing the journey with the other knee. So thanks so much for watching, like, share and subscribe.